guys and welcome to the Pretoria Shadows. Now, I have this channel regarding metal and to, to tell you guys a bit about metal, the kind of metal that I like, the kind of stuff that I enjoy, um, the kind of stuff that I think is really good and that needs a bit of promotion, I would say. This channel is not for me to self-promote myself or to make myself famous, even though sometimes your name can get a bit bigger in metal, such as Patches Metal and Infidel Amsterdam, which are one, uh, two of my biggest inspirations for starting this metal channel. And yes, I did have longer hair and everything and a beard, but it will come back, guys. So I've got two bands for you today. Um, one is really, really brutal and really guttural. I mean, the vocals are just so guttural. Even for metal, it is extremely guttural vocals, but it's groovy. It's grindcore, death, death grind, groove slam. They classify it as groove slam, yeah, groove slam, death grind, which kind of makes sense, but I'll tell you about that in a minute. And I've got the more thrashy orgasm for you guys to talk about. But so let's get into the first one I want to tell you about. It's called Displeased Disfigurement with their album The Extermination Process. Now I'm going to be playing some music for you from the band so you can, guys can hear what they're about and you guys can make your own opinion I'm just gonna make I'm, I'm, I'm not gonna go into too much detail on, on how the album is written and everything I'm just gonna make the music speak for itself now these guys they come from South Africa all the bands that I'm doing now they come from South Africa which is where I'm from and it's bands like these that really make you proud to be South African especially when it comes to metal um, these guys have been around for a while well, this piece disfigurement actually has been around for 12 years. Um, it's, it's a long time for a band to be together, but uh, things have really started happening for them this year. Uh, it's been a good year for, for SA releases as well as international releases. I mean, we've got the new Suffocation that came out. We, have this, we had the Septic Flesh that came out. We had At The Gates reuniting to bring out a new album that I, I believe is out now. Um, we just we had the new Cannibal Corpse album, which was just a beast of an album. Uh, so it's been a good year for for metal releases in general. But I'm getting a bit off topic here. Uh, let's get back to it. Displeased disfigurement with their album, The Extermination Process. I showed you the front cover, but I don't know if you can see it properly, or you could have seen it. And I don't know if you see it properly, but the 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 artwork is just brilliant with the logo and everything. I do believe that this is their first album, The Extermination Process. I'm not exactly sure, but I do believe it is. Um, these guys are really good. If you, they, they, they have a new logo for the album as well. And um, so, well, the band has a new logo. I'll, I'll see if I can find a picture of the new logo. I'll put it in the video so you guys can see the logo and then I'll just carry on with the second review, which is the Borgasm review. Well, I'll do that in a minute. But first off, I'm just gonna show you the front cover again. I just put my CD over there. We have this one. Now, if you look closely to the album, there's a lot of scissors and just some nasty stuff in the front, which you can do a lot of surgical damage with. It looks really good, it's really brilliant. I mean, it's just, it's just a beautiful, it's beautiful to see. I don't know if you can see the color properly. Um, yeah, actually you quite can. It looks pretty much the same as that, maybe a bit lighter, um, but it's like a greenish cover with these bunch of clamps and surgical equipment. And if you open the booklet on the inside, you get a picture of the guys. I was lucky enough to get it signed. These guys were nice enough to sign my CD for me. Let's start from the right. My right, your left. We have the lead guitarist, Darius. 
really cool guy, really cool to chat with. One of uh, they, they became friends at the end of the day. Then you have Mitch, which is his brother, I believe, the other guitarist. Then you have the Beast himself, the bassist and the vocalist Dominique from this Beast Disfigurement, and you have the drummer Nick at the end. Just a bit of background information about the guys, well not all the guys in the band, not the band itself, but these three guys. Uh, ach, damn it, this booklet's not working with me today. Um, Dor uh, yeah, Darius, Mitch and Dominique. Um, they're also in another band here which has reached legendary status. Um, I don't know if you guys know them. If you do, awesome. If you don't, you will a bleeding spawn. Uh, they've kind of risen to, to legendary status here in South Africa because they have a really energetic show. Um, they put up a good show and it's more technical. It's technical death metal. But written really, really good. But I'm getting a bit off topic here again. Now, if you open up the booklet inside, it's got a major, major poster, which looks really good, really brutal, actually. I think it's kind of something disformed or disfigured with the big band logo in the middle. It's just really brutal, really good. And at the back, you have a thank you list from the band just thanking everyone who was in the recording process and helped them with the recording process and the other bands that they work with here in South Africa. Um, let me just name a few. I mean, well, you know, I'm, I'm not going to do that. Buy the album. Check it out yourself. Really good. Really cool, guys. Um, the album, I believe, came out. Let me just check. I believe it was in 2012 or 2013, I'm not exactly sure. Why doesn't it say? It doesn't say, guys. Now, if you take out the CD, let's just show you what it looks like. It looks like this. You can't see it now, it looks a bit blue on my camera, but it's kind of got like a green shade to it with all kinds of scalpels and stuff you can just do some nasty, nasty damage with. It looks really cool. It says at the back, well, at the bottom, it says the extermination process. Really tiny. I don't know if you guys can see it, but it's there actually where my finger is, where I'm holding the CD. It says the extermination process, but that is not relevant here. Now, on the inside, at the back of the CD, you just have some more artwork, some more clamps, some more stuff to do some brutal damage with. And at the back, you have a track list of the band, the, the album track list. Uh, the album has got 11 songs on it. Really good, really groovy songs, actually. Um, I spoke to, to, to the band recently uh, when, when, when I saw them at a gig. Um, like I said, they're doing now, what they're doing is bringing the slam death into it uh, because be before they were leaning towards that sound, they were just straight groovy death grind. But you can, you can even hear it throughout the album. It's got that slam feel to it that you can just like bang your head to like, yeah, slam, fuck yeah. So... It happens like that, but at the back of the CD, there's something that you don't get on any other South African release or any other release worldwide, I would say. It is the MP Death Grind logo. See, I'm not lying. And then next to it, it's BS Ting, not King. It's BS Ting. Now, BS Ting, I'll, I'll, I'll put a link for it in the description it is uh, where's the booklet now again this guy's company actually it's Darius's skating company he's the owner he does it it's really good um, 
Oh yeah, um, I'm, I just kind of realized that I haven't told you guys, just give me a minute to pick that up. It unfortunately dropped on the floor, uh, my, my album. I haven't told you guys, but these guys are from Mpumalanga. Now, in Mpumalanga, they are from a town called Middleburg. Not Petersburg or whatever, they are from Middleburg. So, guys, here's, here's the new album. I know I'm doing you guys with Borgasm, but <clears throat> this is just to make the video a bit more interesting and a bit longer, because otherwise I'm going to have to be putting out 10 minute clips every week or whatever, and I don't want to do that. I don't want to I don't want to bore you guys with 10 minute episodes, I'd rather make a 20, 15, 20 minute video with some factual stuff and some some, some facts of the band, you know. But in any case, um, I'm going to play you a song from the album. I think you've heard from the intro as well, I did play a song of them in the intro. But I'll probably play you guys now, Eviscerate the Caucus. So, let's get into it. Displease Disfigurement with Eviscerate the caucus but the thing is I'm not gonna play the whole song I'm just gonna play like a two minute or maybe a minute of the song so you guys can hear it um, guys just one thing as well with this album uh, go, no, really I recommend you guys go check it out but don't let the quality fool you it is a bit demo quality but that's because these guys they're only musicians they're not producers or sound engineers and it's a self-produced album but their next album will be better um, but as I was saying I saw them live recently when they played a new song that's when I realized that they're doing slam now um, the new song called Parasitic Devourment which is a great song I really recommend you guys go check it out go check out the band and don't download this for free go buy the album guys go buy the stuff support the bands please because these bands here in South Africa we don't have enough exposure the scene is still small, so these guys can't really make a living out of this yet. So please guys, seriously, go, go buy the album, support these guys. They're really cool guys, really chill guys. I've been speaking to, to, to Dominique, the, the vocalist, a lot actually. Um, and they're just really cool, chill guys. Like I said, they became friends at the end of the day. And yeah, here it is. This please disfigurement with Eviscerate the Carcass. sounds like you heard the song I believe it was Eviscerate the Caucus as you can see this is one day of recording I'm wearing the same shirt if you're wondering what shirt it is it's from another band here in South Africa which they classify as hard rock I think it's metal I love it it's awesome I don't have the album yet but soon I will let me just stand up and show you guys a band called Octanian Really cool guys as well, really good guys, uh, guys if, but let's not get into that too much further, let's do the next one, which is Porgasm, with their, I'm not sure, but I believe this is the second album, uh, called The Balcony. Now, um, it's a bit blurry in my camera. Uh, let me take out the booklet. This album cover that I have on it now, this one, it's not the original album cover. It's just a picture because the booklet just contains 
pictures of the guys. It is this one. This one was the original cover. It is the original cover of the band Porgasm. Now, these guys, they do more a thrashy approach to their sound, but I'll, I'll, I'll get into the review and I'll tell you guys what I think about the song now. Let me just show you guys. This is the rhythm guitarist and the lead vocalist, Haini, I believe. Um, then you get the bassist, which is this guy. Really cool guy, actually. I've spoken to him a couple of times. Really cool guy. Then you get the other guitarist, the lead guitarist, not the rhythm guitarist, which is this guy, and of course the drummer. This is quite cool. And if you have paid attention to this picture, you would have seen this guy has some sort of big nose. And before I get get on with the review, let me just put it back in the CD, put the booklet back. But before I go on with the review, I'm just going to tell you a bit about the band. I know they are obviously, they're like bacon, as you can hear from the, from the title. It's the baconing. But these guys, they wear pig masks on stage, which is why they have adopted the name The Pig People. I believe it's thrash metal with some different distinct elements within music, different um, yeah, elements from different genres. I mean, if you listen to their album, some of their songs have some jazz chords in it, some jazz influences. Others got a bit more a popish vibe to it, but it's still really good. It's still metal to the core. It's thrash. It's brilliant. It's really well written. It's groovy. One of the more groovy bands, actually. If if you hear it, you can almost start bouncing to their music. It's just like, you know, start bouncing up and down, which is really cool. These guys are really energetic on live. They've got the, the, they have a really explosive. Um, live show these guys do a lot of hard work the same with displeased disfigurement they've got a really good live show and they're, they're just really 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 fucking good now if you take out the cd from the the album which is what, what i like to do i like to show you and give you a bit more information about it like to show you the cd the booklets the stuff everything it's just yeah i just like stuff like that you get this thing which at the top it says as you can read it says hail bacon with like a pentagram thing it's like the boar head inside it looks really good the artwork is really well done for this album and inside behind the CD you get this it's basically just a uh, Thing where they say um, who was involved in the production process who helped them record the album everyone that was involved and a small thank you note from the band thanking everyone who was there everything let me just put the CD back the manager as well they 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 they, they really put a lot of effort into an album like this uh, they have another album, like I said, I believe this is their second album. Uh, their first album, I don't have it yet, but it's called The Apocalypse. I'll get it. I'll show it to you guys. I'll review it for you guys. So you can see what it's like and see what I do with the album. I'm going to play you some music. Uh, this album, I believe, also has 11 songs on it. And if you look at the back just the guys from Borgasm again another picture with the track list and at the bottom there it says Volmer Records so I told you guys I'm gonna play some music it's either gonna be their cover that they did uh, not gonna get us now I know what you're thinking not gonna get us isn't that the album from that lesbian band that Russian duo whatever tattoo yeah but this one is, is different. It's really, really good. 
I mean, if you listen to the whole album, it's just really good. The drums are awesome. Uh, the, the the guitars are well written. It's just an all round good album. It makes, like I said, it makes you proud to be a South African guy. So without further ado, here is Borgasm, and I've decided actually which song I'm going to play for you guys. Here's Borgasm with their song "Ideals of a Fool." Go check it out. Buy the albums, and I'll see you guys with some more good material next video. Keep on listening to good music, and wherever you are, be safe.